Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to show you how you can connect your AWS RDS PostgreSQL server to your fast API. So let's begin. So first of all, I'll head up to the AWS console, which is right here. And then I'm going to create a PostgreSQL database right here. I have already created here, but I'll show, show you the process, how it can be created. So I'll just click on create database here and then select the PostgreSQL. And then I can select all the configuration accordingly uh, to my application as well so i just go with free tier for now and then i can uh generate a keep a password right here so you can keep anything you want and then you need to confirm that password and after moving that we can uh obviously configure our instance configuration from here but free tier obviously doesn't have many options so we'll just skip that and for the public access you need, you need to set that to yes obviously if you, if you want to communicate it using your fast api moving forward we can also uh, we also need to set up our database name which is present inside additional configuration so that is a very important step because if you do not specify a database name aws rds does not create a database right here which is uh present uh which, which they say right here so i'll just create a name something like test psql or something like that and then i can click on create database which will create a database for me so the database is already created for me right here as you can see and i need a few things from here which is first of all the endpoint then uh so i'll just save it here which is the endpoint equals to this then we have one more thing which is the username which is postgres right here the password which i had set here the password was admin123 for this and we also need the port number which is five uh 432 i believe yes the 5432 which is the default port for postgresql servers all right so now i'll just show you how you can create a first of all database configuration file for your fast api so first of all I'll, i have created a file here named rdspsql.py so i'll just show you how you can create that uh file so first of all you need to install sql alchemy and for that you can just install pip install sql alchemy and then also you need to install psycho pg2 which is the official library for connecting to a postgres database in python so this is going to be psycho pg2 and you can also download the binary version for it all right so let's just wait for that to download and then let's move forward all right so it has completed so now let's build our database configuration file so first of all i'm going to import sql alchemy's create engine and then i'm going to import the session maker and declarative base from sqlalchemy.orm all right so for the database url right here as you can see the format is present right here which is the correct format so the database url format is basically postgresql plus psycho pg2 and then some uh, slashes after that we can have postgres here which is the username and then we need to have the password which is admin123 after that you need to place your endpoint right here which is the endpoint here and then the port number and then the database name after the slash so i had kept test psql as the data name right there now moving forward we can set up the session here and an engine engine is the create engine object with the parameter as database url now we can set up the session local as session maker and then we can set up a declarative base here as well we do not need the get db right now so i'll just skip that for now all right perfect so now we can import this these configurations inside our fast api let's see if it connects to the uh, postgresql server on our aws rds or not so this is a simple rds fast file right here so basically this is basically used to connect your fast api to your rds server configuration file so first of all i'll just import engine and base from rds psql which is the file we had just created and then i'll just configure the basic fast api which is app equals to fast api and then for basically connecting to the database we need to run this command which is base dot metadata dot create all bind equals to engine so this will be able to create uh basically able to connect to a database so after that i'll just create a simple root right here which is the uh, home root or the index root and that that will just say that connected to aws rds postgresql when hit on the browser or request all right so now let's test it out if our postgresql server works or not so let's see and as you can see it says application startup has been completed successfully so let's see if we actually get the message of connected to aws rds postgresql or not 
all right so as you can see we have the message here which says connected to aws rds postgresql so that means we had successfully connected to the aws rds postgresql database and that's how you can basically connect fast api to the postgresql database so guys uh, i think that's it for the video and thanks for watching